know, I think what I like most about resident education is watching students come from medical school and starting off just scared and green in their first day of internship, and then watching them progress as they go through three years and develop into outstanding physicians, and then go out into the community and really make a difference. grown astronomically my first year. I've done many, many procedures, which was probably the first thing that really uh, struck me whenever I came here. I had multiple procedures just in my first couple days of clinic. There's lots of opportunities for residents here um, to kind of tailor their education to what they're looking to do in the future. This program's a relatively young program, and so we really encourage our residents to be innovative and create new things, and come in here with any idea that they had. And actually, a lot of our electives have been a product of uh, interest that our new residents have uh, come up with. Our OB Fellowship and our Hospitalist Fellowship were both creations of um, interest that our residents had. So I'm really proud of the fact that even though we're a fairly new program, we're not afraid to take risks and we're not afraid to grow um, in response to our resident interests. And I think that that's something that will propel us forward in the future as well. I'm interested in rural health and our program has a mobile health unit, which is literally a clinic on a bus. So it's full scope rural medicine. This program has become kind of a pillar in the community. We take care of a lot of underserved patients that are immigrants from all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of ages pregnant women who haven't seen a doctor for most of their adult life until they became pregnant. My family uh, and I was a refugee uh, from Kurdistan and we grew up very differently from a lot of people that are now physicians or, or um, working in the hospital and I feel like I connect with the patients a little bit more than some others might. I like to connect with them and, and see what they're experiencing, especially since in this clinic a lot of our patients are refugees or immigrants and, and live in uh, low uh, socioeconomic conditions. A typical day might look like, you know, we do table rounds in the morning where we get to talk through all of the patients and maybe review um, some imaging or EKGs together um, in our teaching room. And then we actually walk around to the patients. And one of the things I really enjoy about our rounding experience is that we do what's called patient-centered rounds. So when we walk into a patient room, the resident gets to talk with the patient and includes the entire team in the discussion about their plan of care, where we want to move forward, what's happened over overnight, um, and the patient gets to be a part of that conversation. Our OB fellowship is new. We just graduated our first fellow um, in 2020. Um, it was really successful for our first year of fellowship, and so our fellows, um, and our residents for that matter, get really great training um, in vaginal deliveries as well as operative vaginal deliveries. And then our fellows, of course, will have training um, in surgical obstetrics. And then something unique to our fellowship as well is just the ultrasound training. I grew up going to Nashville. I love Nashville. I'd actually never been to Murfreesboro until I interviewed and quickly fell in love with the city of Murfreesboro as well. And just that it had everything to offer, being really close to Music City. It was just a perfect fit for me all the way around and I knew I could be happy in medicine as well as when I'm outside of work. Middle Tennessee is really amazing because you've got metropolitan Nashville not too far away from Murfreesboro, you've got great restaurants, you've got great music, and then you can go 30 minutes away and find just gorgeous nature. There's trails everywhere, there's parks everywhere. The culture of our program is definitely family, which really fits with family medicine. Our residents, we all just mold together. Our faculty are wonderful. They ask for our input. They care about our input. I think what attracted me most to this program was how open everyone seemed um, from talking with all of the residents who had been here before and the faculty members. It just seemed that this program had such a level of support built into it. Why would you choose Ascension St. Thomas Rutherford? I think the best answer to that question is that you have an opportunity to really build what we have started here. Uh, we're really excited about the foundation that we've laid, but we have so many other things that we would like to do with our program, and the best way to do that is to bring your energy and your ideas to this program so that we can use that and we can help it to grow you as a physician and also to grow the program and to impact the community.